Alex, I wanted to ask you because you did mention when you were talking about girls getting into the industry and not really thinking it through about how everybody would find out, your family would find out. So I assume your family knows. Um, I assume, especially mm-hmm. since you're, it sounds like you're there with them right now. Uh, so how I'm did like that friends. go for, how did that go for you? Because I know that um, that's a big concern for a lot of girls. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, so I obviously like it, like when I got in, I knew I was like, hey, my family's going to find out, like, I'll tell them eventually, which like, I, I ended up like, telling everyone separately but so like my dad was like he was just like you know like I'd rather you were doing something else but as long as you're happy and you're healthy and you're making money good for you like you do you like go get it and I was like okay that's a really healthy view to take I was yeah it was nice and uh were you surprised not really because you know I think I, I definitely get my real I'm like pretty chill I think definitely get that from my dad like he's just like mm-hmm. you know like go with the flow and nothing's like that big of a deal my mom on the other hand did not speak to me for four years so that was rough oh wow yeah that was rough um but we never really had like a really a good relationship anyway so it's like I really was pretty like in de- I've always been like pretty independent as it is so it's not like it like it wasn't like we were close and then we just stopped talking. It wasn't like that. So it was kind of just like a thing where if I ever wanted to call her, I was like, Oh, I can't do that because she's not speaking to me. And it was like for four years, we just didn't speak. So I was like, just really on my own for, I mean, obviously like I had friends, but like, yeah, I was just, you know, not really, I wasn't like that tight with my dad either, but it was good to know. Like he, he like supported me, but um, yeah, it was like a weird time Because I felt like I didn't really have, I mean, people, so my friends had my back and everything, but I didn't have that family having my back, which was fine. Again, I've always been very independent. My brother was very supportive too. Like he's five years younger than me and we're besties. And he was like, okay, thanks for telling me. Like, I don't care what you do. He had a very similar reaction as my dad. He's like, you know, if that's what you want to do, like good for you that you're doing what you want to do. That's great. That's, that's great. It's good that you had at least some people in your family supporting you. I find that when I talk to people about that, it's generally like if there is any pushback against it, it's usually either the father or the mother that gets very upset. And then, you know, one, one or the other kind of accepts it more. Yes. So, um, it's kind of interesting how that works, but is your, how's your relationship with your mom now? I'm assuming you guys are speaking now. Yeah, yeah, we're good now. We're good. And you know what it was? So my dad passed away in 2017. So really after that, it was like, okay, well, you know, life is short. We need to make amends. Like we're both very, very stubborn people. So it took a lot for her to, for like, she never really said anything, but we just kind of like hugged and like didn't speak of it. We don't really speak about it now. Like now sometimes like she'll call and be like, oh, I'm going to work. And she's like, okay, I'll talk to you later. So it's like, we just know we just, it's Mm -hmm. fine. It's good. It's good now. And I'm grateful for that. Yeah. It's unfortunately sometimes something like death kind of is what forces you to realize what's important in life and Mm -hmm. connection with the people that are still living. Exactly. It's interesting too, because you said that like, I think when you like went to your grandparents' funeral was when you realized that you hated the job that you were in and you needed to go and like do what you wanted to do. So yeah, it's yeah, an eye opener for sure. It really yeah. like, and when my dad passed away, like it really, again, like it just kind of solidified. It's like, wow, like, first of all, I need to clean up my own life because I'm doing some shit that is not congruent with who I am. Mm-hmm. And like, that was an eye opener. And then like, it just, it further solidified for me, like what's truly important in life, which is relationships and family and loved ones and staying healthy and taking care of yourself and all that stuff. So I'm like a very silver lining person and glass half full person. So, you know, I, I, I see it. That's how I see it. And, and, you know, and now I also see it. Okay. Well, he was proud of me. Let me continue to live my life in a way that will um, help continue to make him proud. Yeah. Honor the fact that you're an independent woman. I think that Mm. that's, you know, and self-sufficient, you know, there's so many 
people out there with, you know, my, my parents have always been so grateful that my siblings and I are all self-sufficient, you know, because I know that mm-hmm. there's definitely parents out there that have kids that they just can't like get off the couch. Right. You know? I know. So I know. 